Hi folks and welcome to another episode of All Star TV where every week we bring our viewing audience another tidbit, fact, or piece of information about their home and try to keep you up to speed with what's going on in the industry. Today we're looking at ventilation. By the way, I'm your host, All Star Justin. So here we are looking at the soffit ventilation. The important thing to remember is you've got an attic space in your house that must be ventilated. Um, that's one of the biggest deals in our industry right now is with the new codes, everything's becoming very airtight on the home and we want that attic to ventilate properly. All that heat that's produced in the home, uh, the average home pr produces four to six gallons of moisture a day just from the people living in it and all that hot air rises up into your attic space and we want some sort of a ventilation system to circulate that air up there. Ideally folks, your attic space will be five to ten degrees different than the outside temperature at the most. Uh, so we want that attic space to be the same temperature as the outdoors uh, as much as possible. Um, if you look at our soffit intake here, the, the home naturally creates an airflow by drawing air in through the overhang on our house. We call that the soffits. So air gets drawn in and then it goes out through whatever type of roof venting system we have up on the roof. If you look at our soffit ventilation system here, you've actually got a good soffit intake here. We've got uh, vented soffit panels, aluminum soffit panels, and this venting goes the entire distance of this house. So right off the bat, we can see that we've got a good air intake flow when we're looking at this home. Next thing we want to look at is the roof. Here's what we wanted to do on this house. This house actually had ridge vent on it when we first looked at it before we tore it off and we assumed uh, that we'd be able to do ridge vent again. It's a, great exam it's a great house to do ridge vent on because you've got a peak that's the entire distance of the home and so all that soffit venting would have a ridge vent to exhaust out of this entire distance. Here's the product that we actually sent out that we were hoping to use. It's a product by GAF and uh, this is what a ridge vent is. And what we would to normally do is I pulled this back just to show you an example of what we wanted to do. We'd normally cut a hole in the peak of the roof here. We'd cut the sheathing back about three quarters of an inch on each side to create a one and a half inch gap. That would allow all that airflow to exhaust right out through your peak. And it makes sense because uh, the whole peak would be opened up and that airflow through your soffits would naturally ventilate out through the peak of the roof. Here's what we ran into when we went to cut this open. When we removed the old ridge vent, we noticed this wasn't cut open at all. And as we attempted to cut it open, we noticed that the way this house was actually manufactured, the framing of it is such that we've actually got framing members underneath this peak. So we would have to cut this sheathing back about five inches in order to get the air intake that we need to. Well, if I cut that open five inches, folks, that's going to cause this to leak. This product here is designed to have an opening of about a one and a half inches. This actually sits on your peak like this if we were to use it. And you want that gap about an inch and a half. If I go to five inches with this, I run the risk of having snow and rain and water infiltration in through these vent holes. So ridge vent very quickly became an option that wasn't going to work for this house. Now where this particular house we would have put in 40 feet of ridge vent, we only need two turbines to receive the same exhaust results. Uh, turbines is a great product that a lot of contractors steer away from, but it's a proven tried product. And the nice thing about turbines is that once they're spinning, they'll actually work in drawing the air out of the attic. So we've measured two holes. We've measured those holes 12 inches down from our roof peak and we've measured those holes so that they're exactly spaced evenly from the ends of our roof and from each other. That's very important that your turbines are uh, spaced evenly and that they're on the same side of the roof. You never want vents on both sides of the roof. So we've cut a 12 inch hole as you can see here. Our insulation is good down in here. Folks, you can really feel the hot air coming out of that attic right now and that's awesome because that's what we're trying to achieve is to get that hot summer humid air out of that attic and keep that air flowing. So we're going to put this together and once we do that, uh, what we'll have is a situation, you can see behind me the turbine spinning. We'll have two turbines on this roof spinning, drawing that air out of the attic in a situation where uh, ridge vent just happened to not work. So thanks for joining us today. That's why ridge vent doesn't work on every home and why turbines are a great option for this home. There's a lot of different uh, venting options and we'll, uh, we'll address others in more episodes to come of All Star TV.